So hey everyone, today we are having Sonam with us and she is having around 7 years of experience as a biostatistician. So Sonam, can you introduce yourself? Hi everyone, this is Sonam Singh here and it's been around 7 years of experience working with a pharmaceutical company uh, for clinical research domain as a biostatistician. So the next question will be the salary Sonam. Let's suppose if someone is having 7 years of experience, I'll not ask your exact salary. Can you share a range to what salary one can expect he's having around? seven years of experience. See, as a bio statistician, a highly paid position in, in market right now. So salary depends on the location, uh, the role, okay you are and uh, the a year of experience uh, so it could vary in uh, 30 to uh, 50 or near to 60 uh, lakhs yearly so if someone is having seven years of experience on bio strategician role you mean to say his range can go from 30 lpa to 50 lpa yes. or more, more than that as well yes so i feel that's a very good salary so so Nam, like you're working as a biostatistician, can you share us that which are the educational backgrounds those are eligible to become biostatistician? The most important, if you want to join industry, clinical industry as a biostatistician, so we should have a master's degree in biostats or PhD degree. This is must uh, to, uh, you know, enroll yourself in, um, in this uh, field. Mm. So like one should have only biostat degree or like uh, like apart from biostat as well some other master degrees are eligible it can be like biostatistician degree or statistician mm. degree but not uh, mm. other than this because if you are msc geologist or if you are msc with biotechnology or something um, i think it's not applicable ideally if you are uh, looking for a good organization and known organization their standard is uh, you know uh, your degree, uh, your education background should be mastered with biostats or statistics. So I would say it, it is a must to have okay. uh, yeah, okay. education in this. If someone is having different background, so what are the other roles they can choose apart from okay. biostatistician? If the person is from other domain or field, uh, if they are carrying a degree of uh, geologist or biologist or pharmacist uh, and they are willing to work for the pharmaceutical industries in the drug development, uh, they can choose a role like clinical SAS programming or statistical SAS programmer. They can go into the data management team. Uh, these are the roles which uh, people from the different background also and uh, if they have some statistical knowledge or some industry knowledge mm. about this uh, pharmaceutical industries mm. and all uh, they can get the interview and uh, they can try uh, themselves okay it means uh, cdm clinical data management in that cdm programming especially and statistical programmer which is also known as clinical says and biostatistician you mean to say these are the high growth and high paying roles in the pharmaceutical people can choose within these roles but mm -hmm. to become biostat as you have shared one should have a messy stat degree that's great now can you share us what are the skills required to become biostatistician first your analytical skill uh, it should be uh, or statistical skill you should be having a depth knowledge on statistical tests uh, if i talk about soft skills so you should have uh, some uh, you know leadership skill communication skill if you are getting hired into this um, field so how you are adapting that culture so these are the skills which is required but most importantly your uh, core uh, you know main would be the statistical knowledge analytical thinking which would be uh, you know helping you in future how to interpret the result how to analyze understand the data so these are the skill which we need to develop while you know learning our statistical taste and uh, while you know performing in our during our bachelor's or if you're attending any training okay you know. so sonam like sorry for interrupting first but as you have shared a lot of like, like uh, this leading and these uh you know and communication so i feel that this can be developed with time right but if we simplify the things what are the can you share what are the is any software that is required to be like learned 
before getting into this job or is there any domain knowledge so if you can segregate between the software and domain knowledge so can you tell me if someone want to become biostatistician what are the software knowledge he or she should have which softwares one should learn yeah so the first line interest would be obviously sas okay sas and now industries are moving slowly towards r so mm-hmm. i would suggest um try to develop your r knowledge also in future definitely it is going to be uh, you know uh, people will use highly yeah python so these are two three uh, software skills would be helping you uh, in your analysis okay. um, day in okay. today to day life for your analysis and these are the software skills one should you know learn before getting into this world what are the domain knowledge that is required apart from the software skills so domain knowledge as says that um basic statistical understanding okay it mm-hmm. should be very clear some statistical part some analysis uh, mm-hmm. if you are using any tool i have seen that people run the codes you know they miss to interpret mm-hmm. the result while seeing mm-hmm. those outputs so how to interpret it how to uh, you know communicate to the uh, people those skill we need to develop mm-hmm. and domain uh, basically they should focus on the all this uh, statistical mm-hmm. uh, part it could include a basic mm-hmm. statistics it could be include probability theory and whatever the statistical analysis test we are performing as a we are fresher their expectation should be very basic uh, whatever you mm-hmm. have learn in our bachelors or masters they wanted to know that what are the test uh, statistical mm-hmm. test you uh, you know you learned about mm-hmm. it just could you explain uh, explain us and also if you have uh, nowadays in your in the university we do project so if you perform mm-hmm. any project activity which uh, statistical test you have perform in that project so these are the thing which we already done so we should be ready with that not all the you know i get stuck with my statistical uh, test so i always go and search and read about it mm-hmm. so it's not all, it just freeze everything in your brain but it's just a basic understanding about the statistics it should be very clear um, for us and also whatever we did in our masters so mm-hmm. it at least we should be able to present in front of interviewer and mm-hmm. whatever we learn at least that should be very clear uh, in our mind mm-hmm. and definitely once you will be in, in in the industry you are going to learn many statistical mm-hmm. tests tools and everything mm-hmm. so now if someone want to take training in india for biostat role what he can expect from training institute like how much fees one should pay for learning for this role to training institute it's depend on quality of work they are giving what are the promises they are giving you like people will say that i will teach you the r language also sas language also what they are including in their training so it could hit uh, more than 1 lakh above for 3 uh, to 4 months of training uh, but uh, usually if you are uh, you know looking for a trainer or any institute uh, just see the courses what they are giving you try to talk with them get a consultancy mm-hmm. and then uh, amount but the basic would be around 1 uh, lakh and more than that also and one more thing guys those who are watching this video and if you are having any question related to biostat role you can connect us you can find the link one to one counseling in the video about section even if you Uh, have any questions related to training because we are also offering biostat training so if you have any questions related to that as well if you want training for that also you can connect to us and uh, so now one more thing like being a biostat session what is your day to day like life what do you do so uh, see being a biostat session kind of role is like um, you know lots of reading you know honestly speaking mm-hmm. you need to develop mm-hmm. your statistical mm-hmm. knowledge the updates um the what regulatory is like a fda food and drug administration they publish multiple guidelines they update into mm-hmm. it so we need to uh, go through it we need to try to understand it's, it's kind of reading understanding if we are working on trial mm-hmm. if if we got assignments of any study so mm-hmm. for particular mm-hmm. drug development we need to understand the study design we mm-hmm. need to understand the disease on um, you know for which we are you know make making this mm-hmm. medicine we are doing trial on that uh, you know mm-hmm. thorough knowledge on that disease also is required to understand our data so mm-hmm. it's kind of uh, you should be focused you should be detail oriented you should try to give your more hours um, you know whenever you are getting time in in reading mm-hmm. and try to develop yourself and uh, so now like uh, 
what do you think like if someone is uh, not having good communication or good soft skill so is uh, he, like he can, still can apply or like how he should prepare himself for the soft skill part or the communication part do you think like initially when you started your journey like you are fluent at the communication part or your soft skill was good if no then how was your journey so first of all i would say that nobody is perfect in everything you just need to learn by practical in day to day your life whenever you are getting chance so when i started my career i was not fluent and also soft skill was not so developed because you are fresher uh, you are studying uh, in college and you are not so presentable like you are going and doing attending seminars and presenting yourself so that confident you will eventually develop once you will communicate with people with more confident you will share your statistical knowledge is you if you are performing any presentations so it comes with practice when we are fresher minimal communication skill required we should be able to present ourselves what we are trying to say you know mm-hmm. when i am presenting some when i am talking about some statistical test we i performed i know about this we did project on this so i would be able to explain them what how mm-hmm. i performed what data i have included this much communication skill is required to communicate with them mm-hmm. properly to explain them they should mm-hmm. understand what we are telling them that's it mm-hmm. anyhow once you would be in in the industry you are going to learn you will talk with multiple people um you will present multiple times you know so this is skill slowly you will eventually you will learn and you will not even realize it i'm getting you know some i can see some improvement in me so so now recently what i have found a lot of people who are getting into the industry so they are looking for few things like uh, they want to work on the roles which is having high growth pay and work life balance so as we have discussed on biosat role the pay is already good how about the work life balance and uh, you know the growth and especially the global opportunity like globally is there jobs in different countries yes we are getting so people who are working for industry some of them are working from home so we will get uh, it's your choice work life balance we need to learn as a statistician i said that we should be focus on learning developing ourselves knowing the statistical tests mm-hmm. guidelines and reading lots of things so yes it's not like a day and night we are working we do get some flexibility but we uh, we should be good with the time uh, we should learn uh, to manage our personal and professional life i would say quality of life is good for by the statistician he can get the remote work also but fresher i think it won't be possible but once eventually you are grown enough in this industry and you know the thing you can do independently without taking much help so you can go with the work from home opportunity apply and see and experience uh, so we do get after few years of experience and the quality of life is also good uh, only we need to balance and how about uh, global uh, opportunities like a lot of people want to move to us uk or canada so if someone is having experience on this role like can they work in different countries definitely they can apply they can go in my mm-hmm. company i have seen a few people went outside even companies mm-hmm. giving uh, them opportunity if you want to work from uh, different location you can if they are doing good mm-hmm. in internally also they are moving uh, yeah you definitely uh, globally also we are getting opportunity and uh, so nam do you have any suggestions for the freshers like especially who have done uh, msc stat and those who want to pursue their career into this bio stat role uh, so suggestion would be you know whatever you are learning you should have a thorough knowledge on it i would not say just mug up the things but whatever we have learned uh, we should be able to present when uh, we are giving interview do not write everything where you are not confident in your cv um, write the right thing which you know uh, on which you are confident or if you are you know if i have seen many people who has gap of 3 4 years so they don't remember the things they, they they did it in their bachelor's or master but they are as because of this time gap they are not able to you know uh, catch or uh, you know to understand or also to remember those statistical tests and whatever they did so i should suggest them uh, you know hire any institute or training institute they will they are going to guide you and uh, they are going to make you aware they are going to prepare you in 
three four months so um this is the one other option uh, for for the people and for the fresher who just pass out from the industry uh, from the uh, college and they are looking for a job prepare yourself prepare your cv um, whatever you learn in your masters just revise those things try to understand what you did whatever the project you perform you know uh, be clear with it present in the interview definitely you will get hired so that's all from my end guys and i hope you got like in a broader way you got much clarity about this role and if you have any more questions you can connect to us through this video uh, description there is an option one to one counseling and related to training or related to interview or any questions if you want any more broadcast related to biostat what you want to see what you want to like know more in the biostat role you can put that in the comment whatever questions you are having Uh, for surely if needed to be create another video on that we surely gonna create it if needed to be answered in the comment itself for sure you gonna we gonna answer in the comment itself so that's all from my end and thank you sonam for giving your time yeah thank you everyone and bye bye everyone